Hello guys, this is Yellow Cloud. Today we're going to be reacting to the Five Nights at Freddy's 8 year anniversary tribute collaboration. This is by Bay G. I'm, I'm, or maybe Bay. I don't know exactly how to pronounce it. But they are a uh, relatively small creator who hosted this entire collab. And it, I've seen, I looked in the description, I've seen some familiar names. I. I can expect this is going to be a pretty good collaboration. You're, you're celebrating a great moment, which is the year anniversary of the original FNAF game, of course. Obviously, that, it might... Call me crazy, it might still be the best game in the series. That and two are phenomenal. But, regardless, uh, it's a pretty long one. It's five minutes, five seconds. I don't actually know what song is going to play, but I hope it, it's probably one I will recognize. And, uh, might just be the living tomb someone's I don't know uh, maybe it's like a matchup because you know it's kind of long five minutes pretty long maybe it's a mashup who knows maybe it's not even a song maybe it's like a uh, just some cool animation well check it out uh, and you guys can actually check this out in the description below as well the original video as well as Bag's channel and find all these other links in the description below look for my YouTube channel my gaming channel there's gonna be a banger video drop in there in a few days so please check that out and my discord server that's where you can request anything for me to react to let's get into the video now okay it's uh we want out i think da games yeah i like this song i haven't heard this in like two and a half years though Kill that piano. Oh damn. Oh, Jesus, that's just that's, that's what happened though, I guess. Damn. Dom Studio, this is smooth right here. Oh. Oh, that was cool. Okay, yeah, this song went hard. Oh, oh, this it's a uh, Scott himself, Adam dude. Ooh. Oh, damn! Right in my face, huh? Dang. Dude, there's so much happening already. Jeez. Oh, oh, they're pulling him back. Puppets just flying around. Jeez, so much, so much going on. Oh, we're in help one and okay. Nice. Oh, we got the security, huh? Dreadbear. Forgot about that, guys. Huh? Oh, okay, he's, he's glitching. Okay. Oh, we got a special delivery. Well, not in the house. <laughs> you ain't, you're not walking in my house looking like that. Oh, microchip. Oh. Oh, it's Vanny and the, uh, I guess her little army. Oh, jeez, they're all withered. Oh, it's the princess from uh, Adventure Time. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We're just bubble gum. <laughs> Look kind of like it. Jeez. Dude, how is? I don't even know what that conglomerate is. Whoa. Okay. What? What is that? It's like a bunch of mechanisms. Damn. These are all like the, the, the bad bear frights. Huh? It's a taxi driver. What's going on here? I didn't hear this story. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I remember that one. Oh, fetch, of course. That was a big ass owl, I guess. Jeez. Oh, that's the worst one. Oh. Oh, that's terrifying, jeez. So what was that? Jeez. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's a puppet. Singing straight to spring trap, I guess. And lefty. Oh 
juice. Oh, what the hell? That's five to candies. Pop. Oh, okay. We're just in the damn parody game now. Nice. Oh, oh, joy creation. Holy crap. That game was awesome. Oh, jeez. I really like to get close to the damn camera. Is that a... Is it a log? Alright. I'm not familiar with all the uh, fan games. Let's be honest with you. Oh, is this a circus one? Oh, maybe not. Oh. Got a little VHS action. Yeah, it's Scott. Again. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh, poor kid. Oh, FNAF World. Dude, I like FNAF World. I, I like that game. Oh, oh, what the? That's a little, little uh, bit of a little, little plot twist there. All right, let's read this. Let's read this. Okay, thank you, Scott Steel Wool Illumix, the FNAF SFM community, and everyone who inspired me and so many other young guards and gave me my skills, friends, and the purpose I have in life. This franchise means so much to me, and I can't thank you all enough for leading me to where I am right now. The franchise has its ups and downs, sorry, and arguably, we are in one of our darkest times right now. Damn, but the legacy Scott left behind will never die. The future might be dark and it's very uncertain right now, but we have each other, so many talented people in the fandom. It has its problems, but when it shines, it really shines. Thank you, B. B. G. Or Bag. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but that was a really good... And animation, and you know, it's a tribute to Scott and just FNAF as a game. Uh, really good, and it, I think it did a very good job at just highlighting basically everything that's been went down this past eight years, uh, just how the franchise itself has unfolded, and all the creative. And you know, it, first off, it goes with just the things that Scott's created and the lore he's created, but then it spins off into the things he's inspired in other people like fan games and just the um just all the crazy other you know animation or like all the parodies and stuff like that that people have gotten popular from themselves like joy of creation finance of candies pop goes we're all mentioned here too so uh that was pretty good really really good tribute and you know it does it, you know it, it doesn't have to exactly be in order but Seriously, they did a they crammed about just as much just about every FNAF thing in existence as they could here. <laughs> Seriously. Um but uh, you know, I will say uh, where where's the uh number one crate, huh? <laughs> I'm kidding. But I, I forgot. Oh, trash in the game. Yeah, where were they at? They're a big part of FNAF. No, I'm kidding. But yeah, there's things in here that I'm not even familiar with. I mean, first off, I don't know all of the fan games thing. At one point, okay, the BH, that's part's cool too. I don't really know this one. There's a god, goddamn log face. What is that? It's a, I just called it a log. It looked like a log. I didn't know this. They're like terrorizing a damn city. Okay, joy of creation. You know, there's, a, there's some cool stuff here. But yeah, it's just a big old tribute video just to show everything that's happened and you know scott was the creator of all this and it's just a tribute to what can happen after the success of one game which is quite a simple game if you think about it you go back to fnaf one it's just so traditional there's nice it's not it doesn't have to be a whole lot to it you're just trying to survive the five nights maybe you go to night six maybe you try custom night but it still has like the simple, you're basically just the four animatronics and Golden Freddy. And it's just simple. It's nice. But yeah, and it's just spawned a lot of stuff here. And uh, yeah. So yeah, I mean, I'll say my impact FNAF had on me. Um, it basically shaped kind of my channel. I mean, in a way, my audience has formed itself based off what I initially made this reaction channel about when I first started doing this 
channel, Yellow Cloud, of course, around September 2020. It's almost been two years. I was in just the weirdest nerd phase of my life because, you know, quarantine happened and I just got obsessed with FNAF. I, I mean, I had already played the games before, but here, this year, the year 2020, I just listened to a ton of FNAF songs, played all the games over again, learned all the lore, absolute nerd stuff that, that I don't know, like social rejects would do. I'm sorry. I don't want to call anybody a social reject, but like, seriously, this is what is hap this is what happened and so i decided to react to fnaf stuff and that kind of got me some attention like seriously and that's why i that's basically why i still react to fnaf stuff it's because you know it kind of helped my channel grow and it's what i clearly see my primary audience really likes to watch so uh but it, myself i do still always have a special place with fnaf uh of course so, uh, and I do want to say, so that was a good message that Bay, Bay G left at the end. Um, but yeah, it's, he even says we're in one of our darkest times right now. I assume he's saying that because the uncertainty about what the future is going to be for FNAF. Uh, if I would have to say, you know, obviously Sky retired. I don't think the games will ever be the same ever again. Uh if there are any more games, I can only imagine they'd just be like spin-offs and stuff like that. I don't think there needs to be more FNAF games or like FNAF lore. I think they wrapped up the series well. Maybe remakes. Remakes are coming out. I w I'd be perfectly fine with that. But I think we just, if we leave it here, it's been like a really successful thing right here that he's created. So, uh, yeah. I know the... I know the anniversary was like two weeks ago. Probably not that long. Not that long. Maybe over a week ago. But yeah. I'm still reacting to this now. Um, but yeah. That's really all I can say. So uh, thank you Scott Cawthon. Of course. For everything. And uh, yeah. I don't really have anything else to say. But I would actually recommend you guys check this out. In the description below the original video. Go check it out. Description below. And uh, that's all I got to say. So uh, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.